Hey, I'm Bucky Doran. Thanks for joining me on our Iowa's Virtual Dirt Track Classic Post Race Show. Five inaugural champions in our Bill Caldwell Ford main events, and we're going to talk to all five of them over the next handful of days. We want to thank you guys, the fans who uh, took the time to go and vote, just proving, I'm a little biased, I'm going to be honest with you, that we've got the best fans in all of sports. Dirt Track fans are passionate and love their drivers. So we're going to talk with our inaugural champions, give them a chance to talk about the win and the fans and what's in store for them for 2016 on our Iowa's Virtual Dirt track classic post race show joining us on our post race show our bill call ford main event winner in our modified class it is matt webb out of des moines matt thanks for joining us here on the on the post race show thanks for having me bucky well an interesting year for you after grabbing a uh, track championship with a sport mod the year before you guys made the jump to a modified got the rookie of the year what made you guys uh put the 51x on a side of a modified for this past season Oh, uh, we had a pretty good year in 14 and got to where if we weren't winning, it was kind of a letdown and that's not for us. We need to like to be challenged and need to uh, need a dog to chase, you know, like the competition and I think it was time for us to move up. What challenges did you guys face moving from a sport mod to the modified? Uh, it's it's basically looks like the same car, but underneath it's a completely different beast, I'm sure. Definitely more complex. We made the mistake of dabbling around in the Z-Link at the beginning of the year and Kind of brought us some trouble, and uh, about halfway through, a friend of ours talked us into switching over to a four bar and world of difference. By the end of the year, we we're, I know by far we led the most laps the second half of the year in Central Iowa, but once we got on the four bar, uh, it really helped us out, and it was what we needed for figure out the, the modified compared to the sport mode. Now, the fans are a big part of this Virtual Dirt Track Classic. You had some pretty big names and some big fan list names that were able to get you to the win. Proves how great a fan base you have in the Central Iowa. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, good thing I beat most of them guys that were on the ballot. Uh, definitely some big names, and uh, probably a few times I'll get to beat them this year. <laughs> uh, but we've we've got a great group of friends and i've got a big family and uh you know we've got a ton of friends that stop by during the week and at the racetrack and if i'm in need of help they're their phone call away and you let them know they need to vote they're they're all on top of it is that one of the things that you like about this sport the fan base the fan and the friends and how it just brings everybody together oh yeah week in week out we got friends that stop by checking how we're doing how it's, how it's going and it's crazy how we'd be lost without it you know as 2015 came to a close what type of momentum uh, did you guys take into the off season, based on those last month or two on the track. Well, more so by what not to do. Um, we spent the first half of the year going backwards, and um, by the end of the year, we were rolling pretty good. And you know, even though the competition's pretty tough, had some good results. And with the new car and all new, uh, all new parts, I think we're, we're ready to tackle 2016. Were there any things that you looked at changing or thought about changing uh, during the off season to get ready for this year? Um, well, we went to a quick change. Is probably the biggest thing. Um, Heard a lot of mixed emotions on it at first. We stayed on the 9-inch last year and wish we would have switched to quick change last year. Um, that'll definitely help um, and make it a lot easier to go racing, you know. But other than that, we've got uh, Weirs is helping us out a little bit, and their products, I think, are going to help us tremendously. And, and the new Harris cars is really, really nice piece. Cal's put a lot of R&D into it and makes the, the changes at least a lot easier and a lot easier for us to figure out. Moving into this coming season, got the Rookie of the Year. Obviously, I know you've got goals set higher. Uh, what are some of the goals that you have for the 51X Modified Race Team? I'd um, like to win a track championship in the Modified. Uh, we're going to race at least three nights a week and uh like to hit at least half the Hawkeye Dirt Tour. Um, but um, get a little bit more get a little bit more competitive and we're racing against some big names, but it, it, any night we can, we can beat some of these guys would be be good. What are those three nights that you and where are you going to be racing? Uh, we're going to try Friday night at Iowa State Fairgrounds, Saturday night at Adams County Speedway, and Sunday night at Stewart International Speedway. Nobody likes to lose, and everyone goes out of the track to win, but what kind of goals do you have set for yourself uh, when the team shows up? Are, are you looking at got to win, got to have fun, top five, let's just put it on the trailer straight? You know, What kind of goals have you guys set forth for 2016? Uh, definitely like to win some races. You know, there's the car counts kind of went down, but there's a tremendous amount of competition here. Um, there's four guys alone in the modified that we race with at the morning that's won Super Nationals. Um, so it makes the you know the weekly nights even that much harder to win um, when you're up against that much competition. You know, it's hard to find a night where any of them guys are going to all have off nights. You know. So before we let you go and get wrenching again on the car, 
Uh, I want to give you an opportunity to give some love for your sponsors and also the crew out there. So who do you got to thank for the car getting on the track in 2016? Uh, Mike Bennett at Dynamic Drive Lines. He helps us out a ton. Uh, back sales. Uh, we're Nick Roberts at Weir's Machine. Steve Zuck, Kurt and Missy Roach, and Kyle Brown at Harris Auto Racing. What about on the crew? Oh, I've got Ashley. She does our, all our PR work and keeps everybody in line. And I've got my buddy DJ and uh, my buddy Craig. As long as I keep Pepsi in the fridge and the cooler, he's there to work on the car. And he does a lot for me, and we lost without him. <laughs> That's cheap labor. I love it. <laughs> yes, sir. And then as well, I've got my, my grandparents and my parents. They don't. They stop in usually about once a day, and they don't miss a race. They don't skip a beat, and they're always there for me, whether I'm first or last, you know. Well, Matt, I know you were a busy guy getting the car ready. I appreciate you taking a little time for our post-race show, and good luck to you in 2016. Okay, thank you very much, Bucky. Thanks for having me. Now to wrap up this edition of Iowa's Virtual Dirt Track Classic post-race show, congratulations to all of our Bill Caldwell Ford main event winners. We're going to talk to everybody over the summer as we get dirty at the dirt tracks. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. I'm out.